today we are going to make a matriciana. It's an old classic and it's good to see how it's done because it's very simple and it's very flavorsome once you get the right ingredients. So you have guanciale. It's similar to bacon and in fairness you can have your matriciana version with bacon. It's just it's the cheek of the pig. And then you have plant tomatoes, uh, pecorino romano. Pecorino romano is Roman pecorino cheese, so it's a sheep milk cheese and it's because uh, the recipe is called Amatriciana from the city of Amatrice, close to Rome. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil, some wine, salt and pepper, and some chili flakes. First and first, we put a little bit of olive oil. We don't need much because the fat is gonna come off uh, the meat. Some recipes would even suggest to not to put anything at all, just the guanciale directly in the pan. Others will actually say to put a little bit of water. If you like, I just do it in a very traditional way, putting some extra virgin olive oil and just putting the meat. Basically, what we want at this stage is uh, just for the fat to to melt a little bit and uh, the meat to be a little bit crispy, you know. We let it cook a little bit. And remember, at a certain stage we will uh, put some wine. Putting the wine helps everything to come together and also to collect all the burnt bit at the bottom. When the fat gets translucent and the meat gets crispy, it's when we add a little bit of dry white wine. And as we say in Italy, we have to sfumare. Sfumare is when we let the wine evaporate. And as you can see, it's coming together, all together. Can you see? And now, in go the tomato. We crush them a little bit. And we let it cook for a while. And some chili flakes just to make it spicier. So the sauce is almost ready, so we have to put the pasta in. Salty water is boiling. Generally, it's bucatini. That's the traditional format of pasta for the Amatriciana, and we're going to do it with tagliatelle. If you want to learn how to make fresh tagliatelle, just watch our other video. So it's ready now. We just have to drain it. Drain the pasta and we throw it in the sauce. Na, 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 na. And we're almost ready. I see a lot of people serve the pasta and then they spoon a bit of sauce on top. Yeah, yeah. So that's not the way, is it? Well, uh, if the pasta is uh, still dressed and then you want to put extra sauce on top, that's fine. But to have the white pasta or something, that's so bad. <laughs> really bad. It's immoral, Mandy. It's immoral. <laughs> 